helicopter could hover in one spot, it had an improved control system, and as a result, a new kind of pilot. A pilot who uses all four limbs to fly, all at the same time. Watch his left hand carefully. He's holding the collective pitch control as he pulls up on it, straight up. The blades act as small wings, but spin so fast they create one continuous disc of lift. And when those blades collectively change angle or pitch, the aircraft rises or descends. The pilot's right hand points the cyclic control, tilting the whirling disc above. the chopper's tail rotor. Once again, altering the angle of the blades affects direction. The chopper spins in response to the pilot depressing one of two foot pedals. If he depresses the other foot pedal, it spins the other way. There's no one in the world for whom flying a helicopter comes naturally. But practice produces pilots as adept as the aircraft they fly. By the early 1940s, the Whirly Bird had gained acceptance. 